Just got like I, I spoke the other day about getting the uh, E30 tune in um, from Tune Plus. I also um, got that in the Verbal Plus feature as well. So real quick, just wanted to give a quick tutorial to those who haven't used the Cobb access port or have dealt with um, Adam at Tune Plus. Um, just want to show real quick uh, how easy it is. So I'm at my computer, uh, very simple workstation here. Uh, I have the Cobb access port right there. And I'm just gonna go over the three things that I've done so far. So over here on the left, you can see that I have my access port manager. So uh, I downloaded that. This is on a Mac. It might look different on other people's computers. I open up the access port manager. Um, I let it open up. And then it says, you know, access port not connected. Simply have this uh, micro USB plugged into the back of the computer. Plug the Cobb access port in. It's going to light up and start doing its thing. And then as soon as it comes up, it'll show that it is loaded and in there. All right, right now I have it on data logs because um, I sent out my last logs. I'm not interested in logs right now. I'm actually interested in maps. So currently I have my, uh, my final 93 uh, with the Burble Plus, my final 93 without Burble Plus, and then my two E30s that he had to get for finalization of my final E30, which I have. So I'm, I'm gonna drag my final E30 and my E30 Burble Plus over, and I'll show you how you do that. So I go to my mailbox here, which I already have open. I've already got it clicked on from Adam over here. You can see the tune, there's the Burble Plus, and if I scroll down a little bit, there's the uh, E30. So I come back over here, I have another um, folder that I have made, Focus RS Tunes, I open it up. I don't want to be on, uh, yeah, I want to be right here on the Tune Plus. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to just simply going to drag the E30 and drop it. And then I'm going to drag my E30 Burble Plus, which I can't wait to hear. We'll hear it later on today and drop it. Now that that's done, I'm done with the mail. I can open up my access port manager once again. All right, and then once again, just drag and drop. I can't, you can't do it from mailbox to there. I'm not really sure why. So this is how I had to do it. I just had to create a folder. So I'm gonna take my E30, drag, drop. Are you sure you want to copy this file to the access port? Yes, I am. And then E30 Burble Plus, drag and drop. Are you sure you want to act? Yes, I do. And that's it. Now they're on my access port, so all I gotta do now is just take my access port and put it on the car. Thanks guys, hope this helped. Uh, real quick, also, just for those who may not know how to use the access port or whatever, the um, access port on the Ford Focus RS, the access port plugs in right down here. Um, as you can see on mine, I actually cut it out because I don't like having this flap open. Uh, I'm sure other people have done you know different things but basically this is your onboard diagnostics port and that is where you plug the access port in and mine stays plugged in um, I'm actually in between access port mounts right now so if anybody's got a good access port mount for the uh, Ford Focus RS please let me know because the one that the access port comes with is hot garbage it doesn't you doesn't work at all so now we're going to load the uh the maps from the access port into the car. So this is how I do it. First thing, I plug the access port in, and whenever you're doing maps, you don't want to hold the clutch or anything, you just want to turn the power on to the vehicle. You can see the access booting up here. All right, so now we get into the access port. Pretty simple. I'm not gonna mess with gauges or performance or troubleshooting. I'm gonna go down to tune. I'm gonna hit on tune. Right there you have adjustments, change map, restore maps, and show current map. I already know what current map I have on there. I want to change map. So I click on change map. 
Let this thing connect to the car. All right, here's all the maps I have in here. Um, there's the, uh, you know, the original stages that came with the Cobb when I bought it. There's my Tune Plus 93, uh, Tune Plus 93 Burble Plus. There's the E30 I just put on, the E30 Burble Plus I just put on. I'm gonna go with the Burble Plus just because I wanna see. I um, I messaged Adam about um, the. I love the frequency, but I wasn't real uh, fond, you know, fond of the of the duration of the pop. So we'll see how this goes. So E30 Burble Plus, it's gonna tell you to, you know, it's recommended that you have a battery charger plugged in and all this. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. I just hit okay on that. All right, so now it's gonna start going into, uh, you know, vaporization mode here. The thing's gonna start rattling and beeping and doing all this stuff, uh, but it's okay. Uh, it'll be fine. The car just yells at you a little bit. Deal with it, it's gonna give you a percentage. And like I said, Things gonna start going crazy. I'm getting engine fault, service now, launch control. I mean, it's just flashing all kinds of stuff. It doesn't matter. Basically, we're just gonna wait for this to get to 100%, and then uh, it'll prompt you that you know either it was flashed well or not. One hundred percent. Now the car restarts. Change map successful. Please turn off the ignition key to the off position for at least fifteen seconds before starting the vehicle. Too easy. We'll turn it off. Fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, I think we're good. Now I can start it back up. This time I'm actually gonna start the vehicle all the way. It usually does that, uh, you know, it takes a little bit longer to start up for some reason every time I've flashed it, uh, but no big deal. I've had no issues. So there we go. Now the car is flashed. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it.